Hello, this is Keith Hughes, and I'm here with an unboxing uh, video. So this has been my voice recorder for a while, this Tascam unit, and it's feeling its age. So I've decided to replace it with a Zoom H4N recorder here, handy recorder, as it says on the box right there, handy recorder. Uh, and then I also got this, it came in a bundle with this uh, uh, lavalier mic. Uh, that can be on there. I have some concerns about this, but we're going to set that aside for the moment. We're going to put that out of the way because I'll get it off screen. And let's get this guy opened up. So it's kind of cool on the side. It shows you what the side of the thing's going to be like. And we've got the features. So let's let's read the features here a little bit. We've got, uh, so the world needs creators, people willing to contribute something, something original, inspiring, powerful. So features. Pristine stereo or four channel recording up to 24 bit slash 96 kilohertz. Redesigned XY microphones handle up to a thunderous 140 decibels SPL. I'm not quite sure what the SPL means. New super, super low noise preamps, less than minus 120 dBU EIN. Two XLR TLS inputs with secure locking connectors. Use as two in, two out USB audio interface. Remodeled FX processor with ultra realistic guitar slash bass. Amp emulation, compression limiting, and reverb delay. Records on SD, SDHC cards up to 32 gig not included. And the package includes the Pro Handy Recorder, protective case, two AA batteries, and a manual. And there we can see the unit itself for all its glory. And then on this side, we just got Zoom. We're for creators. All right. So let's uh, keep keep a rolling here. So we got one of these little doohickeys you got to pull out, and they're always seem to be difficult. I'm going to utilize a special implement here. Just pull that out. So I don't want to destroy it. Let's see what we got here. So if I pull, feels to me like I should be pulling it out like this. So if I pull it out, nothing left in the box. It is empty. Okay, I'll set that aside. So here we've got the Zoom. Now, now I, I don't know that I'm thinking that this is the prettiest packaging um, that I've ever seen in my life. But, you know, if it gets the job done, we've obviously got our... our Double A batteries. Well, uh, looks like you got to kind of do this from the top. So we've got our zoom here in the in the case, and this is nice. A little, you know, semi-transparent plastic case that says zoom across the front of it. That's actually very very nice. I don't have to worry about buying a protective case for this bad boy. Um, so yeah, so there is the unit itself. Um, yeah. Pretty cool so far. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. We've got the batteries. So we need we we'll need those. Those are important. We will need those. And then we've got includes accessories. Unit case, download sheet, operation manual, and batteries and startup guide. So there's the operation manual. This is nice and thick. Looks like Looks like up to there. Is is this going to be... Oh, no, wow. Is this all English? Oh, my gosh. This is all English. I mean, look at this thing. <laughs> and it's all... You know, I'm used to getting a manual this thick, and it's, you know, five or six different languages. But So, apparently, I have some reading to do on this bad boy. Okay. So, there's the manual. Um... Let's see. Warning, something that can cause serious injury or death. An action is mandatory. I think these are just explaining the symbols. Warning when using the AC adapter. Make sure to only use the dedicated AC adapter. The use of other than specified type may cause fire or electric shock, which is extremely dangerous. And I don't think this comes with an AC adapter. And there's the same thing in... Ah... Uh, I'm not quite sure. Maybe Chinese? Oh, yeah. No, Japanese. Japanese. 
to the zoom.koja-jp. Japanese. Uh, WaveLab LE to a full version of WaveLab LE, and I can download it. So I got WaveLab LE and Cubase LE download information. Okay, I'll have to use those. And then we got the Cubase LE startup guide here. We got warranty registration information. And then we've got importers in EU countries, which I need, living in a non-EU country, and then how to get rid of the batteries. Thank you very much. And then uh, that's it. Another worthless piece of cardboard that I can put aside. So let's see. Is there any other? There's no, there's no, sometimes I'll have like a little clear plastic film. So just, just feeling this, it, it feels nice and solid. It's got a nice weight to it. I'm not quite sure what the weight of it would be. You know, maybe a pound or two. Nah, not two pounds, but it is it is pretty decently weighted. Um, I do know that you turn these little things, and, and I think like this is supposed to, you know for different room conditions. I think if you want to try to get all the sound, you do it like this maybe. Let's see, 120 it says. 120 it says. 90 it says. So that's how changing the how it, the pickup pattern, they both do that. They both do that. Uh, but other than that, they do not move. They are fixed in place. So we've got uh, a remote. You can get a remote for this. It doesn't come with one. We can listen to it. It's got a line. We got That's the volume for listening on the line. It uses a USB mini, which is what my other one did. Uh, so that's... That's kind of normal. Um... You've got the hold and on switch, so you can push it like that for hold, and then you can come down here and you can do it like that to turn it on. Uh, I don't have any batteries in it yet. Um, we've got the place where a SD card will go, and it will take a full-size SD card there. It's, it's not the partial S SD card, which is interesting. And then we've got recording level here, menu, and then the turn bar, which I believe from my reading is um, is for the folder, for the menu, dealing with the menu uh, structure on there. On the back, you've got a, a port to uh, put it on or, or a thing to put it on the uh, uh, on a tripod. And then you get your external mic jack there, which is kind of a strange place to put it. And then on the bottom here... We've got, I think that's the AC adapter port right there in the middle. And then you've got two um, XLR TPS. And this is where I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because I am not totally certain how this is supposed to connect. Because this is an XLR mini. So that, I don't know that that's going to connect to that. It's really meant to work with a normal mic cord, which would have plugs there. It had three tines on it. And it doesn't. So I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Um, so, yeah, I may have to send this back. I may have to contact their customer service. So I'm actually not going to um, take this out of the packaging just in case right now um, I'm going to leave that be and uh, fuss with that a little bit later but let's at least get the batteries in and see if this thing turns on so I'm going to open up this little shrink package here with the batteries Fujitsu batteries the best name in batteries and what do you do? You pull that open like that. It's very nice. Let's see. So you've got the, you know where you can see it here. You've got one of these little fabric things here to help you get the batteries out, which is which is kind of nice. Um, so let's put this one in first. And we will put this one in second. 
like so. You get stamina on off here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Probably has to do with battery life. I'll have to read up on that. But that's this little slide switch right up there. Right up there, real close. And it gets covered by the battery door. So I'll have to I'll leave it off for now. That seems to be the default. And let me just slide that back on. And now I'm going to use this thing again and slide it over to on and let's see what happens. Got a black screen. Zoom! Now loading it. So it's, it lights up. No card. Yeah, i got to get a card in there. I know there's no card. Reset date and time. And then no data. So there we go. It works. It turns on. That's a start. That's a very big start. So that's my Zoom um, H4N Pro. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, I will do other ones as I buy other tech. I'll talk to you later. Be seeing you.